After Tyson Fury secured a split decision victory over Francis Nanganu, Nanganu's coach, Mike Tyson, praised the MMA star for his remarkable performance. However, the split decision by the judges didn't sit well with everyone. Former mixed martial artist Chael Sonnen expressed his discontent, labeling the result as disgusting and asserting that Nganu was unfairly robbed of recognition for his efforts. He strongly feels that Nganu's true performance merits acknowledgement, criticizing the judge's decision. Meanwhile, former professional boxer Carl Frock echoed Sonnen's sentiments, firmly believing that Nganu should have emerged as the victor. Frock stated, I thought he won the fight. I scored it in his favor by at least two or three rounds, and considering the knockdown, he deserved to have his hand raised at the fight's conclusion. Sonnen also highlighted the perceived disparity between the worlds of boxing and MMA, suggesting that the boxing realm might never accept an MMA fighter winning against one of the top heavyweight boxers globally. Boxing wasn't inclined to permit his victory if the match reached a decision. So how did the boxing community respond to Tyson Fury's triumph over Francis Ngannou? Did Mike Tyson comment on Ngannou's perceived loss? Well, the fight night witnessed an unexpected twist in the boxing arena, with Francis Ngannou stepping into the ring against world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Ngannou's display amazed everyone, defying expectations by showcasing not only impressive boxing prowess, but also seemingly overshadowing Tyson Fury's performance. Post-fight discussions were rife with murmurs and outright assertions that Ngano had been unjustly deprived of his rightful victory. The crossover fight was anticipated to be a challenging one for Fury. Ngano nearly achieved what could have been the most shocking upset in heavyweight boxing history. Despite never having competed in a professional boxing match before, the former UFC heavyweight champion astounded the world and left the audience in the Pact Kingdom arena stunned. Nganu stunned Fury with a left hand, causing a moment of embarrassment for the Gypsy King in the third round. He continued his aggressive assault on the World Boxing Council champion in the subsequent rounds, showcasing a performance that visibly tested Fury's unbeaten record, relying more on visual impact rather than the judges' scorecards. The most memorable moment came with the third round knockdown, marking only the seventh time Fury has been dropped in his 25-year career. Fury found himself on the defensive for much of the initial rounds, struggling to regain control until the sixth round when he managed to regain his composure and mount a comeback. The decision proved challenging for the panel of judges. While one judge scored it 95, 94 in favor of Nganu, the other two officials scored the fight 96, 93 and 95, 94 in favor of Fury. Celebrities such as Kanye West, Eminem, and Cristiano Ronaldo were among the spectators who witnessed the intense bout. The Desert Kingdom witnessed an entertaining night with UFC headliner Conor McGregor and boxing legends like Sugar Ray Leonard and Manny Pacquiao in attendance. However, despite the excitement, fans were dissatisfied with the panel's verdict. A significant portion of the boxing community held the belief that the match's result was predetermined. There was a prevailing sentiment that if the fight reached the judges, Tyson Fury would inevitably receive favorable scoring. This perception wasn't unfounded. Boxing history is rife with controversial decisions, particularly in high-stakes bouts. The prevailing assumption stemmed from the belief that the established boxing authorities wouldn't permit an MMA fighter like Nganu, lacking professional boxing experience, to outshine a seasoned boxer like Fury. Yet the unexpected outcome of the match and Fury's performance left many viewers in disbelief. The renowned Gypsy King, known for his unbeaten streak and boxing expertise, appeared to be out of his element. Social media was flooded with comments expressing concern that Fury no longer displayed the dominant force he once was. Some even went as far as suggesting that he had lost his touch, a notion that seemed unimaginable before the fight. The immediate post-fight reactions captured on social media testified to the seismic impact the match had on the boxing world. Nganu's performance proved nothing short of spectacular. His boxing skills, particularly considering his background in MMA, stunned many observers. The analogy of a table tennis champion facing off against a Wimbledon finalist 
perfectly illustrated the perceived mismatch anticipated before the fight and the astonishing reality that unfolded. Fans present in the arena were taken aback by the result, with boos reverberating throughout the venue. Upon the announcement of Fury's victory, the prevailing sentiment was that Nganu had been unjustly stripped of a thoroughly deserved win. Doubts regarding the credibility of boxing as a sport surfaced, with many believing that the decision had been swayed more by politics and financial interests than by the actual events that transpired in the ring. Fans think that the boxing world has just robbed Francis Nganu in front of our faces. The outcry continued, with individuals vehemently asserting that Nganu had been unfairly treated. The MMA community was outraged by the split decision favoring Fury. Prominent figure Chael Sonnen, representing the MMA community, delved deep into the recent bout between Tyson Fury and Francis Nganu. Although Sonnen acknowledged a personal bias against Nganu stemming from past interactions, he couldn't help but praise Nganu's boxing performance. He compared the startling outcome of the match to the Harlem Globetrotters being unjustly defeated against the 89 Lakers, highlighting the perceived mismatch and the unexpected turn of events. Sonnen voiced his disappointment with the state of boxing, indicating a loss of authenticity within the sport. He specifically criticized the decision that favored Fury, expressing doubt that boxing would have allowed Nganu to secure a win if the fight had gone to a decision. Sonnen believed that Fury, known for his candor, should have acknowledged the contentious nature of the decision, especially considering Fury had never been in such a situation before. He emphasized the fight's intricacies, drawing attention to the specifics of the situation. Sonnen highlighted Nganu's dominance over Fury, emphasizing how despite lacking professional boxing experience and primarily training in an MMA gym, Nganu commanded the ring. Nganu's technique, from his adept hand positioning to his composed reactions to Fury's maneuvers, showcased his boxing prowess. Sonnen was particularly impressed by Nganu's ability to absorb Fury's punches seemingly without much effect. However, Sonnen's analysis wasn't solely centered on praising Nganu. He expressed frustration with Nganu's post-fight actions, especially allowing Alexander Yusik to enter the ring and promote a potential fight against Fury. Sonnen found it perplexing that Nganu didn't immediately call for a rematch, especially given the contentious nature of the decision. Instead, Nganu allowed Usyk, who required an interpreter and couldn't communicate directly with the audience, to steal the spotlight. Sonnen's critique extended beyond Nganu to the broader boxing community. He expressed regret over witnessing another instance where a top boxer was outperformed by someone lacking professional boxing experience, drawing comparisons with wrestling. Sonnen confidently asserted that regardless of someone's popularity or extensive training, they would never prevail against a seasoned wrestler. He stressed the importance of acknowledging and accurately recognizing such performances, expressing disdain for what he deemed a disgraceful outcome for Nganu. The disappointment extended beyond the MMA world, as the boxing community also harbored dissatisfaction with the result. Carl Frock, a respected figure in the boxing realm, provided an in-depth analysis of the Tyson Fury vs. Francis Ngannou bout. Despite widespread expectations of a mismatch, the fight's result left Frock astonished. Frock began by admitting his initial skepticism regarding Ngannou's chances. Like many others, he questioned how an MMA fighter like Ngannou could step into the professional boxing ring and challenge arguably the best heavyweight in the world. However, as the fight progressed, Nganu's performance proved to be nothing short of spectacular. Froch highlighted Nganu's outstanding attributes, such as impeccable balance, head movement, and his capability to land significant shots. He was especially impressed with Nganu's counter left hook that caused Fury to go down, emphasizing the shot's precision and sharpness. Drawing a comparison with the Conor McGregor vs. Mayweather fight, Frock noted that while McGregor's transition to boxing was less successful, Nganu's shift was seamless. Frock credited Nganu's MMA background, particularly his proficiency in jiu-jitsu, for enabling him to handle fury at close quarters, an aspect that has troubled other boxers in similar situations. Additionally, Frock's analysis delved into the controversial decision that favored fury. 
He believed Nganu had won the fight by at least two or three rounds, particularly taking into account the knockdown. Frock conveyed his disappointment with the state of boxing, hinting at potential corruption within the sport. He speculated that the decision might have been influenced by the upcoming fight between Fury and Usyk, scheduled for December 23rd. This sentiment resonated with many in the boxing community who felt that the decision was more driven by business interests than the actual events in the ring. Additionally, Frock praised Nganu's sportsmanship. Despite feeling robbed, Nganu displayed magnanimity in defeat, showcasing his character and humility. This stood in contrast to Fury's post-fight demeanor, with Frock noting visible injuries on Fury, making him appear as though he had endured a tough fight. The question of what's next for Fury was also on everyone's mind. Frock expressed doubt that Fury would face Usyk on December 23rd, especially after such a taxing fight with Nganu. He believed that Nganu deserved a rematch, aligning with the overwhelming consensus among fans and experts who supported this notion. Numerous experts voiced their disappointment with the result, but the most anticipated reaction came from the legendary Iron Mike Tyson. Tyson, not only one of the greatest boxers of all time, but also Nganu's trainer leading up to the fight, expressed genuine surprise at witnessing Fury, a boxer renowned for his resilience and defensive skills, go down against Nganu. This sentiment held particular significance given Tyson's extensive experience and deep understanding of the sport. He acknowledged the hard work and dedication put in by Nganu, stressing that the impressive performance was a collective effort. While Tyson played a crucial role in training Nganu, he was prompt to share the credit with the entire team, highlighting the collaborative nature of their preparation. Tyson's comments also revealed that despite their rigorous training and diverse preparations for Nganu, the outcome was unexpectedly surprising even for them. This underscores the unpredictability of the sport, demonstrating how it can deliver unforeseen results even for seasoned veterans like Tyson. When questioned about the fight's outcome and whether Nganu should have been declared the winner, Tyson diplomatically stated that it was a close fight. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.